Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you a really amazing and useful feature in FabFilter Pro Q2. It's the EQ match function. If you haven't tried this yet, then you're really missing out. Basically what it does is it analyzes another track, an input from that other track, for example, and then it creates a reference curve representing the tonality of that, which you can now overlay another track so you can get a similar sounding tonality. It's pretty easy. Here I've got a reference guitar track. Let's take a quick listen. And here I've got the track that I want to match that tonality to. So what we're going to do here in this example is set up a sidechain input. Here on my sends, on my reference guitar track, I'm going to send this to bus one mono. Okay, and we'll set that fader to Unity. Next, here in Pro Q, which is on my guitar that I want to overlay the EQ match on top of, under key input, I'm going to choose bus one. Now the plugin is listening to the reference guitar track. So we're going to now match that tonality. I'm going to come up here under Analyzer and choose EQ match. And from reference, I'm going to choose sidechain. Now it's going to start listening to the audio. And the longer it plays, it's beginning to create points to begin assigning nodes to match the tonality of this particular guitar. And when you feel it's listened to enough, simply hit match. Now, with this slider here, I can begin to make more nodes active. See how they're beginning to appear and disappear? And this is important because this will give you more detail and accuracy when wanting to match tonality. And when I'm done, simply hit finished. There. Now, uh, let's solo our Guitar One track, and we'll hear how the tonality of that now changed with the EQ matching reference overlaid on top of it. You hear the EQ has now really affected the tonality. Here's before without matching the EQ from the other track. And here's with EQ match. Again, before. And then after. So I set this up using the sidechain input here. I inserted Pro Q2 here on my Guitar 1. And I sidechained the reference instrument here on bus 1 and keyed it to bus one here on the plugin. After I processed it and matched it, I overlaid it. But you have to keep in mind that the tonality of the instruments are different from the get-go. What this is gonna do is relatively get you within the ballpark of the, the color of that tone, the tonality of it. So you can begin manipulating it from there. So now that we have all these points, we can start EQing them more personally. I can move these around you see what I'm doing? And uh, there's lots here because I, I I chose on my slider, I activated about 16 points or so, and all those are customizable. The best way to really understand this is to try it out for yourself. This works really great on any kind of instrument at all, especially on vocals. If you'd ever have an instance where you recorded the same vocal is perhaps using two different microphones and they were off very, very slightly. Well, you can use an instant of EQ match here in Pro Q2 by FabFilter to try to recreate the equal tonality balance between those two microphones in that example. And in this example, we're doing it with acoustic guitars. But the best way, again, is to try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching.